Team, keep it clean. Today is the day. It's finally here. Well, hopefully it's finally here. Uh, the day that we hopefully can get some answers to a lot of the questions that have been brewing. A lot of these questions that have been on our mind for a long time. A lot of questions from subscribers from y'all. Shout out to Team Keep It Clean. And again, we, we, we said it in the video yesterday that for questions from subscribers, we, we've been holding it back. Because y'all done sending a lot of questions. But we've been holding it back because we wanted to hear this presser first. And this is a big presser. I, I know once it was announced yesterday, two days ago, no, excuse me, two days ago. It was announced two days ago that the Ravens will be holding the presser today. I know so many of y'all, y'all set the alarms on y'all phone. Y'all told Alexa, you told Siri, hey, Alexa, hey, Siri, set an alarm for Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. Now, I know. The press conference is at 2.30 p.m., but stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And if you're on time, then you're late. So better to be prepared early rather than later. These Ravens, um, the press conference today uh, is scheduled to be not only head coach John Harbaugh, but also general manager Eric DaCosta. And... Y'all know questions are going to fly today. Well, they should. Uh, so shout out to all the, the media, all the reporters and stuff that'll be there. Y'all have a very, very big responsibility in front of you, a very, very big task in front of you that has been given to you uh, from Ravens fans because we counting on y'all. We, we counting on y'all to ask not just the good questions, but the real questions to really try to get it. Out. And I know we, sometimes it's tough because it's like, hey, I ain't trying to lose my media pass, dog. I don't want to lose it because, you know, you say the wrong thing. You ask the wrong question. And you, You're out of there, buddy. Them Ravens would be like, oh, no, no, no. You're gone, buddy. So I know a lot of media don't want they don't want that. So I get it. So it's, it's a tough it's a tough spot to be in. So, but shout out to all of y'all, man. Um, before we get into it, and it's going to be brief. I mean, even though every time I say it's going to be brief, it's never end up being brief. But anyway, shout out to the newest team, Keep It Clean channel members. <laughs> shout out to Lumpy Joe and uh, Troy Gordon. And also shout out to the newest team, Keep It Clean patrons, uh, Chef Boy RT. I, I like that name. Uh, and Phil Mon. Uh, appreciate uh, the four of y'all just supporting the channel a little bit extra. Much love to all of y'all, man. Um, but yeah, this is a big day. This is a big day. It's funny. I saw uh, one media person. I forgot her name, so my apologies. But I saw her put it on Twitter yesterday, uh, last night. She was like, um, all right, Ravens fans and Ravens flock, uh, what questions would you ask Eric DaCosta and John Harbaugh at tomorrow's presser, excluding Lamar Jackson contract and the status of Greg Roman? And I, I saw that. I was like, oh, yeah, that's funny. Because she knows. She knows that's what's on so many Ravens fans' minds, those two things. And those two things are obviously big, big, I can't call them issues, but they are big, I mean, they're, they're big topics. They're big circumstances because they weigh so heavily on how a lot of people will feel about the Baltimore Ravens moving forward. And we'll see. We really won't know till we know. Because um, one of those is a question that is more directed at Eric DaCosta. Uh, and another one of those is a question that's more directed at John Harbaugh. And I'm sure you can match which goes where. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the Ravens, they, um, I, for me, again, I, I would say try to go into this things. This conference with low expectations for me personally, I can't speak on uh, anybody else, but for me personally, something that's happened to me this season a couple times where I went into a Ravens game with low expectations. Like, I right, yeah, I don't really expect them to go off like that. I don't, whether I didn't expect them to win or whatever, whatever the case may have been, um, I didn't expect some great performance. Hope for it, but didn't expect it. Uh, so as the game, as we get into the game, as the game goes on, I get so caught up. Even though I went in with low expectations, I still get caught up. And whether something great happens, great, something bad happens, I still get disappointed. It's like, ugh, these Ravens, it's, it's like a, a toxic relationship. Uh, how a, a lot of us with the Ravens, because we, we love these Ravens. We know sometimes they're just not good for us, though. But we still keep coming back anyway. 
So shout out to the Ravens because it's 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 a love, it's a love frustrate type of relationship. Not love hate because um, we don't hate the Ravens, but it's a love frustrate type of thing. But it, it's all part of the game. Um, but yeah, man, it's that's how you should view this press conference. Uh, we hope in this press conference that we get some not only answers but real real answers, uh, honest answers, um, upfront answers, and. Again, it, it takes two. It takes the reporters asking the upfront questions, and it takes Harbaugh DaCosta giving upfront answers. Now, we are not at the Liars' luncheon yet. We're not there yet. That's the press conference right before the draft. But this is sort of the, the Liars' brunch. That's what I would call this, the Liars' brunch. So, But we'll, we'll see how it goes, man. We're going to see how it goes. Now, um, with all the questions that we have, with all the things that we're concerned about, all the things that we've been thinking about and whatnot, uh, we can get whatever kind of answer we get today. But um, what will be even more important will be action. It'll be action. And that's regarding anything that you can think of, whether it's about a coach, whether it's about a player, whether it's about personnel, whether it's about whatever. They can get up there today and they can say everything the right way. And they good at that now. Hey, Raven, you know Ravens front office, they got some great PR training, baby. Uh, but they can get up there and they can say all the right things. But will they do them? Will they actually execute? Because we've heard a lot of the right stuff before, uh, but we've seen different outcomes uh, when it comes to that action. So we'll see. So it's a waiting process. Um, so today should be a lot of fun. It's going to be very interesting. I'm sure this uh, this presser may be a presser that has maybe the second most people uh, that one of their pressers have had in a while. Uh, and then the next presser that we see that will have the most people that we've seen at a Ravens presser uh, will be the next time that Lamar Jackson speaks. Whenever that will be, if ever, that will be. So we'll see. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you later on today. We out.